so we're on our way to the desert right now. We're going to my boyfriend's place, which um, I've been to a couple of times this year. It's super, super nice because um, he has a shootout there and he needs to. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awkward. Why are you being so awkward? Just be yourself, Janine. No, I'm okay. so awkward oh, because I've never vlogged in front of forest. So we're on our way to the desert right now. We're going to uh, my boyfriend's place, uh, which is super nice. It's in the Mojave Desert here in Southern California. It's super nice in summer. It gets really, really hot out there in summer, but now it's November, so I think it's gonna be kind of chilly. Uh, we're probably just gonna go for one night because my boyfriend, Forrest, who's sitting next week, <laughs> um, he has to go there for a shoot and to test his race bike because he's, um, yeah, I'm gonna do some desert racing end of the month uh, and I'm just gonna come with because it's super nice being out there it's like so quiet and peaceful and yeah that's what's happening okay so Forrest is unhappy with my intro he wants to add to it all right we're back to the desert uh, my family ranch which we're out here in Johnson Valley we're like 30 minutes from Joshua Tree National Park uh, we're gonna do some I'm gonna ride some dirt bikes this weekend I'm getting ready for uh, the Baja 1000, which is a big race in Mexico, and I'm dragging Janine along with me. And we got some snow capped mountains, and uh, it's gonna be a little bit chilly, but it kind of feels good to put on some warm clothes and, and uh, breathe some crisp air. driving down the Sturge Road to get to Forrest's property and I think as you're able to tell it's a little bit shaky. Um, but yeah, we gotta how far can we the Forrest's Sturge Road? So we're the, we're the furthest property out. We're like five miles from the highway and almost, and we're like 30 miles from the nearest little town. We keep going. Made it out to the desert. Um, Forrest is currently shooting here with his motorcycle. Um, and I thought I'd give you guys a little tour of the place. It's really cool and um, yeah, very different. It's very much like Mad Max kind of style. Um, yeah, let me show you. This right here, unfortunately, is actually a surfboard that I broke surfing. Um, I feel really bad about it, but I feel like it looks cool as decoration. This right here is a pool island, and the pool is actually not filled right now because it's getting too cold. But in summer, when it's so, so hot out here, um, we usually hang by the pool to cool down. It's like the only bearable place, and it's so, so nice. Dang, dang, dang. And this room right here is really, really cool. Um, Forrest's dad is a surfboard shaper like him. And he made this room here in the desert where he shapes boards, which is pretty cool considering that there's no ocean close by anywhere. The funnest things about this place are all the super random signs which I collected and brought out here in the desert as decoration. This right here is where we usually sleep in either one of these two trailers. Um, there's actually lots of space out here so it's always fun to bring friends. It's getting really chilly now but the sky just lit up and got a beautiful sunset. I feel like it doesn't come across as well on camera but it's really really beautiful.
whenever we're out here in the desert we always just make our own food because this place is so out in the middle of nowhere that there aren't any restaurants close by i think the closest restaurant would probably be like a 40 minute drive so before we come here we just always do like a big grocery shopping session and we just take all the stuff with us because just like there aren't any restaurants close by there are also not any shops so if you're cooking and you say run out of olive oil you can't just quickly drive down the street and get olive oil because i think um the closest grocery shop would also be like 40 minutes probably um so yeah we just always buy everything before we come here and then just make our own food What's your guys' plan for today? We're here testing our race Baja 1000 race bike. Um, everyone's ridden it but me, so I'm gonna do a little test ride, make sure nothing falls off. Test Kieran's uh, check all, double check all is his. Kieran, uh, Kieran is so people don't know who Kieran is. So Kieran is Forrest's friend, and they're racing um, the Baja race together. And Kieran built this bike. Kieran built the bike. Kieran. Uh, AKA the Grom. He's, he's uh, the, the young one of the group of the team. So, but he's uh, he's building the bike, and uh, yeah, we're out here. We're gonna see how it goes. We'll we'll check back in after we ride it. I'm sure everyone's dying to. Yeah, yeah everyone's dying to know. It's super windy outside, which is why I'm sitting inside the caravan right now. But I'm about to head out because I want to take the small motorcycle for a little ride. Um, Forrest actually taught me how to ride a bike when I first came to the desert in the beginning of the year, I think around like March. And it's super fun. I feel like I've got a bit of an advantage because in Europe we drive manual cars. Yeah, so driving manual you obviously have to shift up and down when you drive the car, which is the same with the motorcycle. Except for that obviously with the bike you don't shift with your hand, you shift with your foot by kicking up to shift up and kicking down to shift down. And I feel like I'm slowly getting the hang of it, but I'm obviously like very slow and I still have to think about everything a lot, um, which is why I want to a full ride and like just practice because I think with things like that it's important it's kind of similar to surfing and um, that becomes like a muscle memory and you don't actively have to think about it you just like do it your brain just knows what to do um, and you don't have to think about it that much anymore the boys are currently out on a big ride because they're preparing for the Baja 1000 which is a desert race that's coming up and I think you might have heard some of these terms being thrown in early in the vlog um, and I just want to briefly explain it to you guys because before I started dating Forrest I had absolutely no idea about motorcycles, about motorcycle races, about desert racing. I didn't even know there were different kinds of motorcycles um, and I still don't know a lot but I'm you know obviously dating him I'm learning. Um, so what he does is he races um, so-called like desert races and one of the biggest and like most dangerous ones is down in Mexico and Baja. And that's what he does. He's already done like three races this year and the biggest one is coming up now um, where they she race like 1,000 miles. It's called the Baja 1000. And it's like four guys, so they take turns. Um, I went to the last race, which was Baja 400 and it was honestly so cool to watch. It's like really, like your heart just beats. It's super thrilling. It's honestly really, really dangerous. But he does this race with three of his friends. One of them is Kieran, who's here also. And yeah, they just like take turns. It's honestly really interesting. They actually made a movie about the Baja 1000 in 2019. It's called The Desert Set Dance and it's really good. Even if you're not into motorcycles, it's a really cool movie to watch. Um, so I pretty much had no idea what he was doing until I watched that movie. I was like, oh, now I see like this is how it works. So watching that movie was really interesting. And if you're kind of interested in that stuff, I recommend checking it out. Um, it's really, really well made and it's super um, thrilling, exciting to watch. Um, okay, enough talking. Now I'm gonna go for a little cruise with a little bike. <laughs> I really 
really hope that I'll manage to start the bike. to ride a motorcycle and we have a little parkour over there a little course <laughs> I'm scared I can't go up there. No, that's easy. No. <laughs> no. Honestly, the hardest part of the track is probably this little tight little sandy turn. Okay. So what you can do here is you're gonna practice the opposite way you just practice with keeping your feet on. Now you're gonna use your your legs to like, like okay, I'm turning left, you put your foot out, pivot, you know? Yeah. Okay, how do I go, go down here? So, start the bike. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna roll forward. Whenever you when in doubt, pull the clutch in, pull the brakes in, right? Okay. Probably looks really boring on no, video. No, it's fun to watch. <laughs> I'm probably you got you got better every lap. Thing <laughs> me to ride his 1966 Triumph, which apparently is a really cool bike. It's as old as he is. The challenging thing about this bike apparently is that the shifter, shifter is that the right word? Yes. Is on the other side, so it's on the right side, and the brake is on the left side. So we can see right. <laughs> what I can do. Let me try. You just. 